Best way, absolutely. Hey, you know, <laughs> tires are not the only items that we need to check, though, before we get on the road. No, I want to bring in car coach Lauren Fix for more on what else we need to do to get our cars ready to hit the highway. Good morning, Lauren. Uh, you know, Good let's morning. start with people are getting up, they're thinking about next weekend, they're going to do all this traveling. What should they be doing today to make sure the car is ready? Well, actually, I'm on my way to do a road trip today as well to get my son back from college. And all the things that you think about while well, you check the tires, which are very important, and having your hands at three and nine are exactly the correct position you're supposed to have them. You got to remember there are nine fluids in a car, and people are thinking, well, I, I don't check anything but my oil every once in a while. We well, need to put, pull that schedule out of your glove box in your owner's manual, the one that's still wrapped in plastic underneath all those napkins. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh. And, and that'll, that tells you it needs to be done. I mean, you can go to any service repair facility, and they're going to say, well, uh, oil change, a transmission. They're going to list a bunch of things that could be done. You're best off to know what needs to be done and have it done before you're ready to leave. And I've done all those things, which includes oil change. I'm a big fan of full synthetic oil. It's better for the hot temperatures that we have and also for the really cold that we also experience here in this country. But all these fluids... If you don't take care of them, that includes getting the right gasoline and things along those nature. That can leave you stuck on the side of the road. Hey, Lauren, super fast here. Uh, how does mm -hmm. weather factor into summer travel? Because earlier this week we showed a car that was hydroplaning, which is a real threat during the summer storms. Yeah. Well, hydroplaning has to do with tires and tread depth, but also visibility. 80% of your driving decisions are based on visibility. If your headlights aren't as bright as they used to be, Get new headlights. They'll do them for you at the auto parts store or any repair shop. And new wiper blades are the easiest thing to change. 80% of go. your driving decisions are based on visibility. Good, Good to know. It makes sense. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Well, this always makes sense. She's yeah. fantastic. Lauren, well, thanks so much <laughs> Thank for your time. You. Her website, LaurenFix.com. All right, folks, our website.